fuck is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just, you know, hey, just keep being the beautiful selves that you are, you know. Um, anything that we're currently going through knowing is on the process to getting us to bigger and better places. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Are you just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction? Also, if you are, uh, uh, if the video gives you good information and good vibes, I almost got stuck, <laughs> and you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath going through some really trying times where they need uh, uh, soul, uh, spiritual guidance, that's what I meant to say, spiritual guidance and confirmation and validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video it's just sometimes y'all put these certain med uh, meditation music on and it will throw me off so quick because i just feel that shift in it I'm just like, huh? You know, just be thrown off. But anyways, my um meditation music I'm listening in the background is really beautiful too. That's why I thrown off by it. It was uh it's called Enhanced Positive Energy. 528 hertz miracle tone healing positive vibe deep healing self-love music and i will post that link in the description box below and um my video today is twin flame 101 hey okas remember it's the perception that makes the difference in the way you feel and it's so true it's all about how you go about things it's all about how things are projected to you are you going to take it to heart you know a lot of times you know it was it used to be hard for me to be able to take corrective criticism and I didn't mind it but it was like certain things on how people said it or how they you know sent out the message I even still to this day say that I don't mind corrective criticism if it's going to help me grow elevate me or just put me in good vibes I love to be able to hear that you know um but there's a lot of times people can just be rubbed the wrong way and they you know they're trying to sit up here and say you know they, they could be nasty nasty people you know they could be sent up here trying to be positive but be very vindictive at the same time i've run up against a few people like that um but it was like i was appreciate i appreciate that situation as well because that helped me learn a lot of things from that you know you can be able to take it to heart or being able to know that there are some people who are just out there like that you know if they feel unfulfilled and not satisfied about their life they're going to throw misery towards your way they're going to give you bad bad vibes to make you make sure that can ruin your day a lot of, and it's sad but you actually got people out there that love to be able to see you in a bad mood just to let you know just to be able to you know make them feel more comfortable about their life which is really sad because i feel like you know misery should not love company but there are some people that are actually like that you know i can be tell somebody and it could be something very irrelevant you know i'm like oh yeah just you know trying to get up my mind off of irrelevant stuff and they're like oh so what's going on and i'm like dang is your mouth if your life that messed up that it gives you fulfillment just to see somebody else messed up and it's just like you shouldn't be that way <laughs> I, I mean i've known people like that still do and it's just like i'm not even about to throw that bone at you it's something i reflect on i see what it was supposed to be about and set it free it ain't about to go engage me about that you know you have some people you can confide in and you know they give you that uh you know that emotional pickup just like i you know people come towards me and they're like rosalind you know there's something that's going on in my life and you know i just need that you know the uplifting vibe or just tell me is there something i can do about this situation which i love to be able to do that because sometimes i'm like oh gosh i hope somebody don't approach me with something that i don't know the answer to it's not like i know all the answers but it's it it seems a blessing to me 
to me that when you when people come in to me with advice about the things that they're struggling with you know I always tell people you know give yourself credit where credit is due you know yeah we go through certain things in life but you have came a long way so don't allow this certain situation throw you back about 20 paces back you know but there are sometimes you know a person has been through so much um, negativity in their life that makes them feel like they don't have that confidence within themselves to get through it and I mean it's understandable you know if you so used to hearing you're never good enough you're never good enough or you're never going to amount to anything and you've been told this about your life you're going to constantly you know it's going to be at that frame of mind where you feel like you're not going to amount to anything you know I've been told that in my life you know you'll never amount to anything just because of the decisions you made and I'm like you know now it has me looking like I'm blessed I went through those hard times you know um because it gave my life experiences to where be able to say I can overcome those cer certain situations. It's just like I always tell people, don't be ashamed of your past because your past is what molds you into a bigger or better person than you are today. Never allow somebody to keep reminding you of your past. You know what the hell you did. You ain't got to have nobody remind you for that. You know, and it's just like if they want to do that, that obviously that lets you know that they are still going towards that path. You know, you're not the same person. There are some people that have known me for years. And they can see my videos like, what the hell? <laughs> Rosalind, where's the Rosalind? You have evolved. You have grown so much. Because we remember you used to be the rah, rah, rah girl. I'll be quick to cut somebody out, lay hands on folks. I mean, there's times I probably fought people and my wig was crooked. I straighten that sucker back up and start hitting again. Now, I'm not even about to put my energy up in something like that. You know, I've been in those kind of predicaments. But see, it's like today is a whole new day. It's just like you always have to be able to see what is worth putting your energy in and what is just like you know what it's just them being them and that's fine if that's what they want to do that's what they want to do or even if it's not even have to do with a person it's just like certain things can pop off in your life and you're like man i'm not ready for this today there's sometimes you got to be able to be ready for it but you there's got to be sometimes you got to be able to roll with the punches you know not to let not allow certain things to get to you you know i know there's with us being in human form, it is going to be live to happen. You know, people can throw a bone of misery towards you and it can throw your whole day off. You know, I've been there. I've been there, you know, and it's just like, just because this person's opinion of you does not make this about you. Because a lot of times people struggle to love themselves every day. And when you struggle to love yourself every day, you, you can't congratulate somebody. You know, like I can do something, I'll really be happy of my achievement and I'll get a dry congrats. I'm like, no, I mean, I'm happy for you that you went through your stuff. You can't be happy for me. And no, they can't do that. You know, and it's okay. Not everybody's going to be happy about the achievements you made, even though they might be big deal to you. People are like, Ugh, I'm so tired of this, you know, but they'll throw something negative your way. But even if certain things have appeared on your road, down your journey, you know, our journey, with spiritual awakening we're going to learn a lot of things we're going to experience a lot of things we're going to learn from a lot of those experiences as well seeing what positive impact that certain that negative impact you know what positive impact did that negative experience teach you you know it's all about how you look at things it's all about how you respond to it it's just like I, god and universe has placed me in certain situations to where you know i was nervous you know uh, about being around folks is not you know it's just like I'm about to be you know prime example my family well my mom's ex-husband and their family you know I had to deal with them on top of dealing with certain other people that you know I didn't really care for or whatever but I still had my held my head up high I did not allow anybody to you know make me lose focus there are certain things it's like when you're awakened and when you see somebody's true intentions about you and they're more scared about what you're going to project out or what you might say to them you know it, it kind of I was like I had to giggle at it a little bit I didn't let it go to my head but I was very I'm like oh my god I can smell the fear off of you. you you know I know something you know you've done something to me but you don't know how to take me because it's like they always told me don't never let somebody, even though they have gave you every reason to be enraged with them and make you want to cuss them out, lay hands or whatever, you have to not allow that to happen. Because if you snap on people, if you, you know, you be rah, rah, rah at folks, you know what I'm saying? That lets them know that they still have this power over you. But if you're very cordial with it, 
I'm the type of person, if I don't like you, I'm going to just say, you know what, I was just dealing with you to be cordial because I really don't care for you. You know, I can honestly tell people that too and be okay with it, you know, but it's just like, I, I'm not going to be fake about it. I can't be fake. It, you know, fakeness give me the highs. I can't do that. So it's, it's just like I had to be able to be cordial with that person or those people. I needed that mental closure. You know, I had to be able to, you know, if I sit up here and tell y'all and project y'all, I, I forgive them. I do. You know, I don't need them in my life. I don't care about them, but I'm not angry at them either. You know, I wish them well. I hope they can heal from the things that they placed on me because obviously for people to do that to another person, especially a child, you really got some mental issues. So I pray for them on them healing in each and every way. But it was like a path that I had to go through to get closure from. And I felt so good about that situation because I handled myself in a way that scared me to death. You know, even my kids were like, Ma, we're surprised, you know, that this went on and you did not allow it to affect you. Mom, you, I'm surprised that you didn't lay hands. I'm like, no. It's just the fact is they would have been expecting that. <laughs> they would have been expecting that. They would have been expecting me to act a, a fool about certain things that have, you know, been placed upon my life. But, you know, you have to be able to learn and grow from those certain experiences. You have to be able to look at it like this is your growth, you know. A lot of people are not going to have the same heart as you. Nobody, Not everybody going to have that same intention as you do. But that doesn't mean you need to change because these people are still the same. You know, you change for a positive reason, for a big reason. And you know there's every reason for you to go through what you went through. But if you can learn and take that as, you know what, yes, you've been, you placed me in the most, you know, traumatic situation you possibly could. But that molded me to be that special person that I have grown strength. I live more in love instead of fear. You know, all these different things, it has a positive outlook. You know, I had to look at that as a positive outlook because there's so many times they have placed me in certain situations I would not wish on my worst enemy. There's a lot of things I've told y'all and there's a lot of things I haven't told y'all. But all in all, it really has you know, healed me in a lot of places I never thought I could, you know, because it was just like losing my father was a lot to me. Not being able to have my mom in my life messed me up, you know, but everything happens for a reason. You know, my experiences, when I can be able to open up and tell y'all the things that I've experienced in life, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But if God is allowing me to tell my story, to be able to open up, not worrying about what people think, how you're going to perceive me, if you're going to believe me or not. This is, you know, if it's your journey for you to be able to find that that new self of you, being able to live through love, light, not being bitter or angry or anything like that. That's the perception that they want you to do. They want you to be able to go through hell and high water, fall on your face a couple of times, have things thrown in your, thrown in your path where you weren't able to get over that mountain, but it allowed you to go around and find a better path. That is the experiences you're supposed to have in life for you to be able to deal with the things that have been placed upon your life. But you have to look at it as a beautiful life experience, even though it was a tragedy, a tragic thing that has been able to be placed upon your life, you know. And I, I mean, there's certain things I can look at. It could really throw me, throw me a bone of being messed up. But then I had to really look at it and see for what it is. You know, you had to be able to experience these things to know that, you know, not a lot of people would have been able to make it the way you did. You know, there would have been some, you know, really bad consequences. But you chose yourself not to do those certain things in life. But it's all about how you look at your experiences, all about how, what kind of perception do you use when you have mess ups? Do you have, um, how you look at things when there's speed bumps thrown in your life or there's a wrench, a monkey wrench that, you know, just threw you off course. Everything has a reason for happening the way it does. You know, a lot of times we feel like the universe can be at us in some certain kind of ways, but you know, everything is a life lesson that you had to go through. So I hope you were able to, you know, resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend.
and everything you do um this is my last video i'm gonna do for today if you know if it's meant for me to do some more later on today i will do that but other than that i will give a post notification shout out to delinda haynes much love to you as well i hope you know welcome to the family you know like and subscribe give me a thumbs up share you know drop me a line let me know if you resonate have a blessed safe weekend be responsible and safe for everything you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for better days and i pray that you get everything you're working hard to achieve and send out as much, you know, love and light and pos positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. So much love. Peace.